Hey everyone, this is another um, DCS video. Uh, I'm going to uh, show you how detailed this sim really is. We're out here on the, uh, the deserts of uh, Nevada, just outside Vegas. That's Vegas right out there. And uh, we got cluster munitions on board, and I really like to show you how detailed uh, they have these munitions. It's just, it's incredible. Um, how well he, um, how accurate these musician, munitions are. It's just the, the, you know, how they work. They have these minster bomblets in them that has parachutes. They come down over the target and they uh, fire these uh, molten uh, copper skeets or, or uh, projectiles at the uh, armored targets. And it just it's complete devastation. It's it's something else to to see. Um, there's our armored column right there, just a little bit, not really quite ready to run in on the targets yet because I forgot I need to set these uh, parameters down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, hold on one second, we're going to, um, got the autopilot on. We're going to just make one pass, we got four uh, bombs on board. And uh, yeah, we're just going to make one quick pass and just uh, let the carnage uh, take place. Um, I'll ripple all four of them off and uh, we'll make the first altitude of, uh, well, let's do a thousand feet. First altitude, that's where the bomb will actually uh, separate release all the bomblets inside. Okay, that's set. Here's our jet right here. Nice sounds as well. Um, I really like this simulator and just, you know, all the different modules that's on it. It's just the possibilities are endless. Okay, so, uh... I'm going to go ahead and roll in on our target now. That's where the tanks are located, right where that diamond is. Uh, that's our steer point right there. Come around. I'm going to put the tanks and uh, release the damage. Let's kind of speed up a little bit. Two external fuel tanks on board, as well as a, um, a jammer. Oh, well, you know what? Well, I'll do that later. I'll leave the jammer alone. Uh, yep, there they are. All the bombs are in a row right over the tanks. That looks pretty good. Okay. That, uh, that little knob there, that's that's a uh, the HUD projector. So it kind of gets in the way. All right, there they all go. They're all gone. Uh, there's the tanks. And watch the carnage. <laughs> Try to put the uh, 
replay up of that uh, showing the munitions dropping right about now so if you're wondering here's what the uh, the ground units look like and as you can see they're extremely detailed as well just they just they just look phenomenal the only thing that I think is really missing as far as the detail goes is just people themselves uh, but you know of course adding that that just to add a lot of more uh, uh, processing that needs to be done by the graphics card as well as the, uh, the CPU so it's just I don't know I think it's a good balance I think as far as performance and detail goes but I mean you can see that they, they put a lot of you know, work into this uh, this game. Combat, combat sims over the years have changed, you know, quite a lot. I mean, it's just, it's, they look really good. Even the sound, you know, is really well simulated, like, it simulates whenever an explosion is from a far distance. You can't hear it until, like, you know, a millisecond later. Um, but, uh, it's, it's really cool. Let's see. This is a replay. I'm sorry. This is a replay of um, of what I just did, and yeah, I should be lining up here shortly. Can't really see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Getting close. type of attack the, the the trick is you gotta line the pipper where the middle of the formation is um, for example this this attack where you are releasing four bombs in a row let's see there they all go so there's reach burst altitude there's the bomblets here, shooting down. <laughs> oh man, that is just so cool. Wow. Nicely done. Nicely done. Wow. Hope you enjoyed.